Today I am discussing about the similar triangles. Now, similar triangles with same same different sizes. इतना ही मैं आपको बताऊँगा लेकिन today I am just telling you the first theorem, which is known as the Hess theorem or BPT, basic proportionality theorem. In this theorem, now in a triangle, a line drawn parallel to one side to intersect other two sides in distinct points. Divides the two sides in the same ratio. This is the theorem. So how we we'll prove this theorem? So now see my every points in this triangle, which I am expressing in front of you. Now this ABC is a triangle. So now according to this theorem, in a triangle, a line, a line which is parallel to one side to intersect other two sides. Other two sides and distinct points. These distinct points are D and E. Divide the two sides in the same ratio. Means AD over DB equal to A over EC. You have to do in triangle ABC. This D over BC. D is parallel to BC. It's given, and you have to do AD over DB is equal to A over BC. Now I am doing the construction for this. Join B with A and draw perpendicular. E F on A. Parts में ले रहा हूँ आपका लेके. Now from this first part, now I have taken the triangles, the upper one triangle, anti-clockwise, and this B D also now anti-clockwise. When it is rotated anti-clockwise, this E is going up. A and E are here, and now this E F, this E F is working as an internal perpendicular. When this B D is Now B D is coming down as a base, so now E F is working as an external perpendicular. This is the external perpendicular. Now this is acute angle triangle and this obtuse angle triangle. So now by taking area of triangle this A D E, A D E, similar triangle में सबसे बड़ी बात है कि अगर आप यहाँ से क्यों आ रहे हैं, तो ये आपको move from down to B. Now A D E over area of triangle B D is about half into base into height over half into base into height. First proportion by second, by third by fourth. So now this B will go up. A D by B C will be cancelled. Half will be cancelled with this half. So now base for this A D, A D is a base, and now E F is internal perpendicular over in triangle B D. Now B D is a base, and this E F will work as an external perpendicular. So now E F E F will be cancelled. Now A D of triangle A D over A D of triangle B D is equal to A D over B D. Now, in the another part, join C with D, C with D, and D H. This D H is perpendicular. D H is perpendicular on A C. A C will be up there, okay? So now B. Now I am going to rotate it clockwise. So when I am rotating clockwise, D D will go up. So now D H it will work as an internal perpendicular for this A D E. Yeah, A E D. And the C will be base, and D will go up. Now D H is working as external perpendicular because this C E D is obtuse angle, and it is the acute angle triangle. So now, by looking similarities, area of triangle, area of triangle A E D over area of triangle C E D, C E D is a half into base into height over half into base into height by same formula. Half is cancelled by half. So now base, base for this triangle. Base A is taken and D H is internal perpendicular and the lower one is base is C and D H. D H cancelled by D H. So now A D of triangle A E D over A D of triangle C D is equal to A E over C. Now upper portion is removed. Now I have a trapezium. Trapezium is now just it is also rotated. Now it is also rotated. Now this is clockwise. So now E D is coming base and B C is going up. So one triangle is B D E and the another triangle is C E D. So the area of triangle B D E is equal to area of triangle C E D. Why this is equal? Because both the triangles are made on the same base, same base B and between the same parallel lines. And D is equal to B C. D is parallel to B C. So now from equation number one. And question number two. Now area of triangle AD over area of triangle BD is equal to area of triangle AD over area of triangle CD. Now you keep the value AD by BD and now this A by C. 
A by E C is proved now the B to E. So I have just bifurcated all the parts different different for proving this theorem. Please.